This edition of the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Picture This Photo Books, where remembering is the key ingredient. How beautiful your mother looked at her wedding, and even more so at yours. And who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs? The holidays are coming. What better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time? Whatever gift of grandma's recipes, or just because, those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at 646-798-0809 or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 10% off your first order. Picture This Photo Books, bringing your memories back to life. The whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mian Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Looking at a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war wing author, Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve Love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia. Available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Picture This Photo Books, where remembering is the key ingredient. How beautiful your mother looked at her wedding, and even more so at yours. And and who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs, huh? I mean, I could taste those right now. Oh, I think somebody's hungry for some. The holidays are coming, and what better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time? Whatever gift of grandma's recipes, or just because, those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at Picture This Photo Books at 646-798-0809. That's 646-798-0809. Or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Picture this photo books, bringing your memories back to life. The whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you. And don't forget to check out the Mike Wagner Show on over 30 podcast platforms like Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and check out the Mike Wagner Show merchandise at themikewagnershow.com. Also on Amazon.com uh, as well under the Mike Wagner Show 
podcast, t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throw pillows, tote bags, makes great gifts year round. And don't forget to um, check out the Me and Molson ZS store, more t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and more, and great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles, amazon.com slash me and Molson Dia, and check out this store and make sure you um, order today. And don't forget to um, donate to the Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com and also um, show your support on Anchor FM as well as PayPal and make sure you do so today. We're here with the terrific gentleman. He's back by popular demand and uh, he's got a brand new series out and it's on Tubi TV. He's very excited about it. And um, he was previously in um, Argamon's Gate, Obstruse, Eternal Code, and Betrayed, Bennett's Song. And he is just an amazing dynamite guy. He's a multi award winning filmmaker and actor from Sweden. And he also got an amazing star on a TV show. And he's also worked with um, some great people like uh, Tara Reid, Tom Sizemore, and uh, John Savage, and a lot more. And he's won numerous awards. But live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in his beautiful studio, the very multi-talented Harley Wallen. Harley, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. <laughs> Hey, Mike, how are you? I'm, I'm fantastic. Thanks so much for having me. Well, it's great to have you back on as well, too. And, and then when I heard that, um, hey, uh, Harley wants to be back on your show, it's just like, you know, it was like my grin just, uh, just, just stretched up so high. It's like my face just lit up like a light bulb running up an electric bill. And it's like I couldn't get the smile down. I was going to the hospital just trying to straighten it up. <laughs> oh, I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I got to be honest with you. I am really excited about this new TV series and I'm trying to uh, to get every opportunity to talk about it because the tricky thing when you're not backed by a studio is you have no placement to get in front of an audience. You're not on the billboards. You're not in the commercials. So so you got to figure out a way to give uh, people the information some other way. So I thought of you right away and I'm like, I know you're all over the place. I know you have all kinds of guests. You have a really nice audience. Uh, and I thought it would be a great fit. Well, you know something too, and uh, speaking of great fits, of course, you know, you, you've you been on that, um, that, that TV show that got you started. You also won some awards. You also worked with some great people. And also last time we talked to, we talked about some of the films you've been in and I think mm -hmm. it's around Christmas time. And um, before we talk about your brand new series, uh, Tale of Tales on Tubi TV, once again, very quickly, tell us how I got started. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm Swedish and, uh, and my original uh, parts of acting probably came from, um, uh, you know, I was a martial artist first. I was a break dancer a little bit later, and my very first opportunity to be a part of, of a TV show, that I did music videos and stuff like that, um, but, but when I got on the TV show, uh, we were supposed to have been, uh, you know, uh, break dancers and essentially do the show, uh, and it's like a cabaret show, kind of like a Donny Osmond thing, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I ended up doing that show and had a great time. But what was so awesome is when they needed somebody to do a line or two, they would ask the 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 dancers if if we were interested. So I started hanging out with the actors. I got really I fell in love with the the methods of acting and 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 started getting intrigued by it. Got myself an acting coach, and then it's history from there. Wow. That is something. And of course, you know, hanging around actors, you also work with Tar Reed and, um, yeah. and Tom Sizemore, John Savage. And I mean, you worked with all kinds. You also, um, and I think we were on the show, we talked about uh, Argamon's Gate and also yeah. Eternal Code, Bennett's Song. And, um, you know, once again, tell us about those. And uh, and I think we talked last, I'm trying to remember which one we really talked about. It's like how those films have been doing. Yeah, well, I think we, I think it was Agramon's Gate. We it was, had just okay. had our LA premiere, uh, and, and that film has done really well. I, I know that it sold a big deal to Mexico, so uh, we've had quite a few foreign sales on it as well. And, and it really, I think the success of Agramon's Gate made me feel very uh, excited about pursuing uh, more horror films. So. Uh, while everything was down, uh, I was editing Ash and Bone, which is um, kind of in the breath of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit of House of Wax, uh, uh, the, the Hills Have Eyes, kind of like in that direction. The early, mid-2000s uh, films uh, uh, was the big inspiration. And then I actually, I just wrapped, and there's not a whole lot of people that know a ton about this, 
but we just wrapped what without a doubt will be my biggest feature yet called beneath us all and it's a vampire movie and i really think we are due a great vampire film it's been a long time uh since i saw a, a vampire film that i really liked i think for me the last one was let the right one in this the swedish one that might have been my last one uh 30 days of night was another one that's up there for me but it's been a little while since there was a really good vampire movie and i'm super happy with how it went i had uh Sean Whalen and and Jan Birch, I reunited oh, wow. them. I reunited them for the first time ever since uh, the people under the stairs on the 30th anniversary of that film. Oh my so, gosh! So uh, I'm very excited about that. And to top it off, Maria Olsen came in and gave an incredible performance. So all three of them, uh, in my humble opinion, gave some of their absolute best performances I've ever seen. And um, and it was a lot of fun to make a monster movie. It has a very epic thing, an epic feel about it. A lot of really intriguing shots that you just don't do a lot of unless it's a monster or, or a vampire or something like that. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that's something. And I'm actually remembering it's like we haven't had a vampire movie in a while. And yeah. I think the and I think the one that really stood out was another remake of uh, Brian Stoker's Dracula. I think that was around oh, the late yes. 80s, early 90s or something, I think. It's like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's like that was like the last good one that I've seen. Other than that, it's like, you know, I mean, what's what's happened between uh, that time and now? Yeah, uh, like I said, I mean, for me, when I look back at, at my biggest uh, inspirations, uh, I, I I loved uh, Bram Stoker's the, that that was phenomenal. I, I agree with you. It had all the elements that has has the allure, has the fear, has the creepiness, and has the mystery. And I think that the mystery aspect is what a lot of things miss in today's world. They don't go after the mystery as well as they should. Uh, we spent a lot of time on the mystery. And uh, and another little top secret little thing, uh, we set the beginning of this vampire tale in Viking days back in Scandinavia. Oh my gosh, uh, so, I love that setting. Skull! <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. I really think it's going to be something special. Uh, so uh, so we'll see. My my editor has had the footage for almost a month. Uh, in an, about another month, I'll have a rough cut and I'll know. But but I really think right now that this is something that could end up in theaters just about worldwide. It it feels epic. Mm. It looks there, looks like a, a genre film, like a studio horror film. I, I'm very, very happy with it. My, oh my DP, God. Alex Gasparetta, was incredible. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you're getting me excited about this film. I'm, I'm just about ready to uh, order some tickets right now on my phone here. So I'm going to do that here. So. Right. <laughs> and, and of course, you know, besides, you know, you know working on some editing with, um, you know, some of the films like during the pandemic. What else have you done during the pandemic up until now? So we uh, we were filming Tale of Tales and we get interrupted by the by the virus and we essentially get grounded and we were grounded for a good three three and a half months. Wow. Uh, and then we, we decided we felt pretty comfortable. We put some good, uh, you know, safety measures in place and, and we wrapped up the second half uh, over, over last year's summer. And I believe we wrapped right after uh, labor day. Um, and, th and then it got a little bad again, uh, which was okay because we were we were back inside by then. So we went through successfully without having any any outbreaks on set and everything else, uh, which I'm really proud of. We did a, a good job of keeping everybody safe. And uh, and since then, we also shot, like I said, that beneath us all. But it's been mostly editing, mostly uh, uh, you know building budgets for future projects. We have a true story that we're shooting this fall. Um, that's a pretty um, heart wrenching story about uh, domestic violence and domestic abuse, uh, and it's a true story. And it's it, it's the kind of story that it's it's painful to tell, but it really needs to be said.
Mm-hmm. And, and, and of course, um, I, I, I was going to ask you something too. It's like, you know, based of what story, what case or anything like that. And of course, you know, a lot of this is really come out in, in the light, like domestic abuse, PTSD, mm-hmm. sexual abuse yeah. and everything. And um, what, what case do you think that kind of derives from in a sense, you know, like, you know, cases here, like on the national news? Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's the scary part about it is, is uh, th- th- I think this uh, little refocus that we keep hearing about uh, mental health, I, I think is really cool. But Nicole, who our story is based on, um, and uh, we, we sifted through hundreds of pages of police reports uh, to, to make this film. So me and her and my writer, um, I had a very specific idea how I wanted to tell the story, but I really had to figure out how do we narrow this down to make, you know, an hour and a half or so movie. Um, you know, you know, you can go over to an hour 40 or 45, but you on an independent film, you don't want to get too frisky with the, the time slots because pe- people have a, a lot of things to do. And, and uh, you know, you don't want to hand them a two and a half hour movie mm-hmm. and say, watch this. That, that's kind of reserved for, for Marvel and the other guys. They can do those crazy things. Right. But, uh, for us. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of the, the game plan. But it's, it's a ter- it's a terrific story because she she did make it, so to speak. Uh, but it's a scary story because the the ex-husband is still around, uh, even though he's in prison. Uh, it's always hanging over her head that he can get paroled or, or whatever else. And uh, he's already made it very clear that he was going to hire people to kill both her and her kids. Um, so it's a very wild case. And I want to do it justice. But this is uh, going to be an amazing, amazing journey um, of a story that should be told for sure. And, and it sounds like, too, a lot of bad guys, you know, in the case as well, too, or the alleged that they pretty much, you know, you know, get around the mouse trap or building a better mouse, whatever it is, you know, hiring mm. people, hitmen, whatever else. And it's like it's yeah. common these days where they just build an army to uh, really um to get revenge. You know, back then it was just like, you know, rare to do so, you know, have money nowadays. It's, it's like rather common. Yeah. And Nicole, actually, you know what I, I what I love about her is after going through all this. Um, you know, instead of pulling back and, and keeping it a secret, uh, 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 I actually grew up in a household with domestic abuse and, uh, and we went the other way. We, sh- we didn't talk about it. We looked the other way. We, we, we kind of kept it our family secret and, and, and it was a big scar on, on our family uh, where Nicole is actually out there. She teaches uh, young girls, the different red flags to look for, uh, to, to help warn women when they get involved with men. But what I love is she also talks to the guys and say, here are some things to look for within yourself and, and maybe some red flags that you should realize. And maybe you should seek help before you do something crazy. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something we address as well, too. We'd like to talk more about that next time we're on when we, um, for sure. Have- have you won and uh, give more scope on it. But right now we'll be focused on um, Tale of Tales on 2 BTV. Yeah. But, per- but first, to listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author, Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Z has garnered great reviews and even love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Z, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show is brought to you by Picture This Photo Books, where remembering is the key ingredient. How beautiful your, your mother looked at a wedding, and even more so at yours, and who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs? The holidays are coming, and what better time to give a gift for remembrance that makes you laugh and cry at the same time? Whatever gift the grandma's recipes or just because, full smiles and tears 
tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at Picture List Photo Books at 646-798-0809 or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 10% off your first order. Picture This Photo Books. Bring your memories back to life. The whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you. And don't forget to check out the Mike Widener Show over 30 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter today. Check out the Mike Widener Show merchandise at themikewidenershow.com. Also on Amazon.com under the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, check out the Me and Most and store at Amazon for great books, merchandise, and more. And don't forget to uh, support the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com. And don't forget to um, click the donate button to Anchor FM slash support and PayPal. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a very, very multi-talented, award-winning filmmaker and actor, Harley Wallen, here on the Mike Wagner Show, backed by popular man from Sweden with Love. And um, the big story here is Tales of Tales, and that's out on Tubi TV. And um, tell us more about it. Yeah, uh, we, we uh, shot, like I said earlier, a Tale of Tales during, during COVID, and uh, we were in post-production and just literally released it just a little bit less than a month ago. Uh, and we got a to be exclusive and uh, uh, we have been trending three out of the four weeks we have been on there. We've been trending. So this, the show so far has been a tremendous hit, but we're trying to chase that big audience because uh, the feedback so far has been incredible. Uh, I actually uh, I, I'm, I'm a producer, director and writer as well as the one of the leads in this. And it was really interesting because when they first approached me about taking the lead in this, um, I was really intrigued by the show, but I felt it needed more. So I kind of asked them if, if they would be interested in some of my input because the way they had the original story told, almost all the, the entire story was based on my character, Nick, who is a strip club owner. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's a it's an environment that I'm sure a lot of people are curious about. Um, uh, but I felt like we needed more things. We needed a bit of Sons of Anarchy. We needed a little bit of Sopranos. We needed a little bit of Ozark. We needed some more elements of things. Uh, even you know Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. So we sat down and talked about all these shows, and we created a, a, a modified timeline for season one and. Uh, it's been incredible how popular that, that it's been so far. And uh, I'm really excited about it, to be honest with you. And it sounds very exciting as well, too. And what first inspired you to um, you know, get involved with uh, Tale of Tales? You know, how, you, know, you know, like your idea and uh, what sparked you in the first place? Well, I think, you know, it's really interesting because I've never been uh, a very into strip clubs and all that stuff myself. Uh, so having the the opportunity to look behind the curtain, I felt if that was intriguing to me, if I was curious, then I thought the audience would probably be curious as well. And I thought with the script uh, coming from somebody who's worked extensive time in the strip clubs, it would be very authentic and raw and, 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 and tell a really good story. And then it would be, told with my eyes a little bit more as the director who was a little bit more curious about it. So I thought the combination of those two things would make for a really good story. And, and I think that's what really drew me in uh, was the ability to tell a story. Also, because the guy uh, uh, who, who, uh, who brought me the story said the investors already have the main location. Mm -hmm. So the strip club is already booked which it, that's the hard thing to get because we're working inside of a strip club the entire season, uh, not, not exclusively inside of there, but it's a very big part of it. So there were certain things I just know we needed, and that's one of them. Uh, then the second thing that I knew we needed was fantastic music because if you're going to be in a strip club, it has to sound like a strip club, has to feel like a strip club. So I wanted to get great music, so I approached the... Uh, you know, a couple of guys that worked with Eminem and Rihanna that are Detroit staples, Andy Lynch and, 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 and Randy Lynch, oh, wow. uh, who have a record label here in Detroit. And I said, I would love for you guys to come on board with this. I would feel way more confident taking this on with you. 
and they were all game. And uh, we just released the soundtrack actually uh, yesterday. Oh my uh, goodness! So the soundtrack, yeah, the soundtrack is out now. And it was uh, it, it was one of them things that I, I knew the soundtrack was going to be you know as good as the series. Mm -hmm. And that sounds amazing too. That uh, I wasn't aware you're you're selling a soundtrack right now, like on Amazon yeah. and um, Spotify and other streaming services as well too. Yeah. And, um, and and maybe just a few uh, storylines about um, Tale of Tales and uh, what to expect. Yeah. So the big the big thing for season one in episode one, we have an OD take place in the club, uh, and we have a dead. Uh, dancer that uh, pretty much we spend the entire first season looking for mm, okay. uh, uh, because the body disappears and we don't quite know what happened. So uh, it's that mystery that I talked about earlier. Uh, but what I really loved about it is between Tevis and me and, and Steve Copera, who is one of the writers uh, and producers with me, we really gelled when it came to writing and come up with this story uh, to have that main plot, but also have all these subplots all the way through the, the season so that every single episode has its own cliffhangers uh, and its own uh, storyline. And, and I'm, I'm, that's probably one of the things that I am the most excited about is how strong the story holds on its own. Uh, and uh, we have a really cool biker element in this series as well. And I remember when Sons of Anarchy was not gonna be renewed, I felt that was gonna be a big void. And, and that, that was a part of what I wanted to touch on, on fixing with this was to, to make a couple of those voids uh, go away. Uh, and, and, and I think we've done a pretty good job. And it sounds like you guys did a great job. And uh, who stars in uh, Tale of Tales? So the the uh, the leads of season one that are pretty much in every episode is myself, Tevis Markham, and, and Katie Wallen, my wife, uh, have the main the main cast roles. Uh, our guest stars we have Richard Tyson from Kindergarten Cop, we have Jan Birch from The People Under the Stairs, we have Blanca Blanco uh, from Betrayed, we have uh, Mike Emery from Blue Bloods. We have Jesse Jensen from uh, Devil's Night. Mm -hmm. um, Jimmy Chappelle is in it. Uh, and I, do, I don't know what his latest is, but I know he's in the, the next Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's uh, oh, another. Goodness. I'm so yeah. looking forward to it. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I do too. Oh my gosh. It's like, boy, you got me excited when he heard uh, he was going to be in the next Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm so looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah, no, it's. I, I, I'm really, really happy with this, and I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, we have a couple of, of uh, strong uh, Detroit staples, too. Uh, Grover McCants plays the chief. Uh, Dominic uh, Alexander plays the, 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 the handyman at the, at the strip club. We have Brett Stanfield, uh, who's been Batman, Superman, and some other things, uh, plays the lead detective on the case of the missing dancer, uh, so it's a really strong cast. Um, uh, and, and like I said, it's a really good story. And and the soundtrack, in all honesty, it is incredible. I was really impressed when I when I got to hear uh, what songs they were able to get because uh, music rights aren't always the easiest. We have some mm -hmm. pretty big names. Uh, you know, Twisted is a, is a big, big staple. You know, this is a, a music uh, group that, that essentially have... 30 and 40 million views on their music videos. Oh my God. And so, so, so to have them come and put some of their biggest songs in with us, um, you know, has been really cool, but, but not just them. We have, you know, Mo Fetty and, 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 uh, and a bunch of other fantastic up and coming artists uh, on this album. Uh, it's definitely an album I put up against most soundtracks. Oh my gosh. And I'm so looking forward to it. And uh, once again, where can we find um, Tale of Tales, the soundtrack and all your works at? So the, the soundtrack is uh, on Amazon, on Spotify. It's kind of uh, everywhere you can find and buy music. Uh, Tale of Tales right now is exclusively on Tubi. Um, if Tubi picks us up and makes us an original, then we will stay exclusive with Tubi. If they don't, then we will probably uh, go wider because we have um, we have a, 
a lot of stations that want to pick us up. We've already sold to several European countries wow. uh, to to prime stations there. I know uh, Sky Italy, uh, which is the Comcast brand in Italy and uh, and in France, uh, have already uh, put in offers on this. Uh, and uh, I know locally. I know Voodoo wants it. I know uh, IMDb TV wants it. I know Roku wants it. So. Uh, We'll see what happens here because we're coming down to the end. At the end of this week, I think, is when they have to make up uh, their minds over at Tubi if they want to keep us uh, theirs or if they want to let us uh, kind of out of the bag. So mm -hmm. we're going to find out. And, and I'll take it in the meantime, irregardless. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> you got that one. And uh, what's coming up for uh, Harley Wallen and more? We'll find out in just a minute. You listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by SoundCloud Studios. Visit online at soundcrabstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, The Mike Widener Show, international war ring author, Mia Molson's You Have Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Also brought to you by uh, Picture List Photo Books, where remembering is a key ingredient. Call Karen Shaw at 646 798 0809 or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. We'll be back with a multi talented, war winning filmmaker and actor, Harley Wallen, after this time out. This edition of the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Picture This Photo Books, where remembering is the key ingredient. How beautiful your mother looked at her wedding, and even more so at yours. And who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs? The holidays are coming. What better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time? Whatever gift of grandma's recipes, or just because, those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at 646-798-0809 or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 10% off your first order. Picture This Photo Books, bringing your memories back to life. They're whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios if you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today mention the mike wagner show and get 20 percent off your project Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with the amazing award-winning and multi-winning filmmaker and actor Harley Wallen here on The Mike Wagner Show. We talked about uh, Tale of Tales on Tubi TV and all the latest works. And what else can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Harley? Well, I think the big thing right now is we just signed our horror movie Ash and Bone, uh, Ash and Bone to uh, a sales agent. We have had a, a ton of interest on this one. Uh, so more than likely, we will assume... Uh, this will be releasing this fall. Um, and uh, so that's going to be a big thing. It's definitely going to be uh, our biggest horror movie yet. Then after that is the, the continuous editing of, uh, of our vampire film, uh, all while we're shooting Finding Nicole. So I am, I'm juggling a <laughs> lot of different things at the same time, but, but it's, it's how I like it. That's the, it just, it's how I work. I love keeping busy. I've been blessed enough to get involved with something that I love doing. And, and life is short. You never know, you know, you shouldn't take time for granted because it could be over at any old time. So I want to try to really make my mark to, to, to inspire people, to, to make people think 
uh, and, and, and that's what I want to do. And that's what I want to keep on doing. Mm -hmm. And you're doing a great job of it, Harley. And uh, where can we find um, all your works at, including Agamon's Gate, Obtruse, Eternal Code, Betrayal, Bennett's Song, and more? Where can we find all your works at? Um, so right now, I didn't even realize that, but we have five films on Tubi. So Tubi is a great spot to start. Um, I know Bennett's Song and Bennett's Song Holiday have both sold to uh, network TV. Uh, so if you're in Canada, you can watch that on Super Channel uh, if you're in the U.S., I believe uh, Spectrum or uh, Fuse uh, are probably the two places you can find those. Uh, Betrayed right now, um, uh, I think you can only see that one on Vudu at the moment because I know there's a, a network deal pending on that one. So we'll see where, where it all leads. But Tubi is a great place for me. I have five films and a TV series on there. Wow. So a, a great spot to look at, uh, to look at Harley Wallen uh, films and Harley Wallen TV. That is so amazing. Once again, award-winning filmmaker and actor Harley Wallen with um, Tale of Tales and more on the Mike Wagner Show. Harley, always great to have you on. Thank you very much. You've been always amazing. And um, don't forget to keep in touch. Give us some updates. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your works? Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, so uh, anybody who wants to interact and follow along with me, I am pretty active on Facebook uh, so that's a great place to, to get me. I am pretty active on Instagram. Uh, I am on Twitter, but be patient with me there. I'm not a, a, a great <laughs> Twitter guy. Great uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I just, it's not as interactive as I like it. Uh, the, the, uh, I'm not sure why. I, maybe there's something I'm, I don't get. Uh, but but definitely follow me on Twitter or, or on Facebook and Instagram because I'm, I'm active and I'm on there. And, uh, and, and that's a great spot to, to, to hang out with me. As far as what's coming up, uh, finding Nicole, hoping to shoot that this September, October. Um, can't wait to come back and talk to you about that one when we've had the experience. Oh, certainly I will do so. And uh, keep me up to date. I mean, you know to reach me and social media as well. Harley Wallen here on the Mike Wagner Show. Harley, always great to have you on and very inspiring and looking forward to having you soon in 2021. And don't forget to keep in touch. You're always fantastic and wish you all the best, especially with Tale of Tales. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Mike. Thanks for having me on. Picture this photo books where remembering is the key ingredient. Preserving memories, keeping the memories of your loved ones alive as they reach in and touch your heart, how beautiful your mother looked at her wedding, and even more so at yours. The holidays are coming. What better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time. Whether it's a gift of past holidays, grandma's recipes, long ago moments, or just because those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at 646-798-0809. Once again, that's 646-798-0809. Or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios.
If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.